Okay, here we are, Joe Paulo Trail, Grove Trail. Um, trailhead. Uh, this is go down the Joe Paulo Trail here just a little bit. Larry walked down there. He's done this trail, so there's no memories yet. There it is, it goes. <laughs> and it's Larry from EZ Camping. That's the letter E, the letter Z, Camping. And right there through there, and then the trail heads off across the road there. Look both ways before you cross the road. Okay, I'm gonna, he wants me to go touch it. Yeah, he's a way he's away. There I have touched it. I'll go over here and I'll touch this sign right here. There we go. Alright. Now the cars went by, I'll go back over. Alrighty. Alright, get back with you in a little bit. Alright, we're about to make it back to Blackwell Horse Camp. And we're going to head down to the Grub Ridge Trailhead and maybe hike a, gonna hike a trail into a campsite. Spend the night there and hike out tomorrow. If this didn't give us our 10 mile day, by the time we get to the campsite, it should do it, so. See you when we get there. All right, we're back. We're hiking on the Grub Ridge Trailhead again. Heading to a campsite. We're gonna camp out there tonight. Then we'll hike out in the morrow and head home. We've got our 10 mile high, our 10 mile uh, day in already, so what we're doing now is just a little extra. So we'll get back with you when we get to the campground. Making our way to the campsite here. campsite so I'm gonna, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna get uh get uh some things uh situated up and stuff so I'll talk to you in a bit uh, we decided to move down to another campsite. So we're heading to it now. Mm. Hey.
And they say, here I hear. Now this is actually an official campsite too. Campsite number 10. So here we are. Home sweet home again. So, so, Alright. I'll get set up and I'll get back with you. Okay, when me and Larry was down in uh, Wyoming, uh, we have per they harvested some uh, bird spark. So I'm going to try to light the fire with that tonight. And try to do it with a ferrule rod. Bird for it. Take one. See what happens. Maybe you're gonna have to take two. This ain't working out too good right now. You just scrape some? Yeah. Oh, you mean the bird's part? Yeah. No. Scrape up a roll. Yeah, I know. Uh, let me get me a knife and. Scrape some and see if I can get it that way. Go ahead and put it on that rock here. It don't sink in then maybe. See what happens here. Scraped off some but scraped. There it is. There it was. Now let me scrape some more, see if we can get it to fire up and stay lit this time.
give it another try here. I got a bunch of it straight up. Get a rod on there. There it is. She's burning. All right. Oh, by the way, I, these are sassafrag twigs. They're real good kindling. They ignite real easy and fast, as you can see. Also, it's also good to make tea with and brush your teeth. You can use it to brush your teeth. But I'm thinking we've got fire. With birch bark. See it? Yeah, I took a picture of it. Move my phone back. Hey, begin more. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Birch bark fire. Check mine out. What you got? Fatwood? Yeah. You got some fatwood over here going. That's the one you just got today? No, no, the one I just cut off the log. Yeah, that, that's one. Oh, oh, a different one? This will try for Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now we got two flowers going. Two different styles. Get that way in a little bit. I really got the far rolling now. Now he's over here lighting his... His, uh... Is a twig stove with fat wood.
hard to put my tuck stove together and heat my water up. But it's in my day pack in my car at Larry's house. And he's not going to take me home, over there to get it. What's up with that? Yep. Yeah, I can safely say I don't think that power is going out. We'll get back to you later. All right, the power is still going good. I have got my tent set up. All right, he's got his tent set up. And he's setting up a tarp. And then I've got, we call it a bear line, but actually it's more of a raccoon line to keep our food off from the, from the predators. So, let me get this. Got my, Sleeping arrangements all ready, and I'm gonna get my sleep backpack and put it in the tent now because I keep feeling drops. I think. Get back with you in a minute. There's the inside of my tent. Plenty of room. So. Well, got to get me something to eat now. I'll get back with you. Uh, here it is, my supper. I got me a piece of Sam. So, I'm going to eat that up and we'll be good to go. There's my birch bark fire. Doing good, it's getting late. You can see it's kind of getting dark now, so I'll probably not video no more until I'm in my tent ready to go to bed. So we'll see you later. Alright, Peanut here, Muzzy Loader Camp. Uh, I'm in my tent as you can see. Uh, we did over a 10 mile hike and stuff today, so it's a had a real good day and stuff. And I started that far with some birch bark, which I was happy to uh, be able to do. I've been trying to do it. I could do it off camera, but when I tried to film it, it wouldn't light. So finally it lit this time. So I was happy with that. So, uh, so uh, Larry's over there in his tent. And, uh, uh, I think we're both really kind of beat, but uh, it was, like, or like I said, a really good day, so we'll see you in the morning. Alright, got the fire all put out, but as you see, we got the everything down, packed up, we're getting ready to head back to the truck, so. And uh, had a good, good time this weekend, and... I'm just going to call it the video. Ta-ta for now.